The next series of videos will go through some easy examples on getting started with Python. If you already feel comfortable using Python, then skip ahead to the video entitled Battlecode Installation. Okay, so last time we used the Python interactive interpreter. Now let's apply the interpreter to a file. I'm going to be writing the file in Notepad++, which you can download for free from the internet. Okay, I'll double click it and I'll move the window to the right and select the new file button. Then at the top, I'll specify the language, Python. This will enable it to color and autocomplete text to help me write my code. Then I'll open a command window and I'll use CLS to clear the screen. Okay, so right now my command window has the directory located in C, Users, Phoenix, Max. So if I want to make a file that I can run, maybe I should just put it there. I can do File, Save As, and locate C, Users, Phoenix, Max, and maybe I'll call it example1.py. Okay, so let me make some Python code. This one will be a philosophical program. It asks a deep question. And to cause it to ask that question to us in the command line, we'll go ahead and type python example1.py. And it asks us a deep question. Truly profound. Next, we'll be writing a program which is more interactive. So it'll need something like a loop, and you'll see these all over the place in Battlecode. So we'll start with some definition of a variable. I'm going to set going equals true, and then I'll make a loop while going. I'm going to have it ask deep questions of us. And now I'll press save, and I'll go back. And using the up arrow, I don't have to type it in again. And if I run it, we can see that now it truly wants to know why. And don't we all? But in some level, that's like a petulant kid, and it's a little annoying. We can abort the execution of the program with Control C. And it says here that there's an error. Trace back, keyboard interrupt. And sure enough, that's what we did. But wouldn't it be better? if we could more gently interrupt the program. For that, maybe let's try user input. So we'll define a new variable called user input, and we'll use the Python function input, which waits for the user to type something into the command line. OK, and then we'll check the value of the user input. If user input, and I'll use two equal signs to test for the condition, that user input is equal to the letter Q, which I'll specify as my quit letter, then I'll set going equals false. OK. Let's save that and try it. I'll use the up arrow and hit return, and it asks why. And if I say because I said so, it asks why again. That's the way it is. Why? Well, for, fortunately, we can end this conversation. I can just press Q, and it returns me back to control of the command line. Okay, so that's a simple program. See you next time.